Hey guys, this is Satchmo here and I'm back at you with another video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of the interface if you're using Spartan UI and if you're logging on to your character for the first time and using Spartan UI I'm going to show you how to take away some unwanted bars and uh, just change things up, customize them a little bit if you're having trouble. It's really easy but I know some players uh, have difficulty with this especially if you're a new player to add-ons and at times sometimes even when things are easy you can kind of overlook them and, and not understand how to how to do it so here we go I'm on my mage because I didn't really set anything up on this character at all and um, and when you sign up onto a new character using Spartan UI it pretty much goes to default so the first thing I want to do is I want my scoutometers to be flush with the bars on the right hand side and I want to take out this box, this um, bar box, I believe it's bar number six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up SCADA. So I'm going to press escape, go to interface, go down to Spartan UI, click launch options. You'll start off on the general tab. I'm using classic right now. You can use whatever one you like. I may switch it around. Uh, I may actually use transparent or something like that for the mage but for right now I like classic so anyways you're gonna go down to artwork you're gonna go down to bar number six uh, you're gonna go to action bar settings and then you go to bar number six if you want to remove that bar the reason I'm doing that is because I don't have too much abilities yet and even still I don't I, I like to put my damage meters right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to enable it and it disappears. So now I can drag over my damage meters and make it flush with the bars and the whole UI in general. I think it looks a lot better this way and that's what I want to do. So you can do this with any of the bars um, that in SCADA or in this interface you can take them on and off. For example I'll take number one off and you see I'm gonna take off pretty much all of them because I don't want the black background because if your scale of your bars are bigger or larger and bartender or whatever it can kind of just be offset sometimes it doesn't match up with the background because these are really just bar backgrounds they're not really uh, they don't have anything to do with your bars for the most part so watch I'm gonna take the number two off and watch the one right under my nameplate right here it's right here watch what happens so it's just taking the black background off and I don't like the black background uh, with this UI or within most of any of my UIs I just take the background off so I took that off and I want to take off all of these so I'm going to take them off one by one You know what, I'm going to keep this one for now. Actually, I'll take it off. So now I've taken off all the black background for my bars. And so I have this little kind of pop-up tab right here. And I don't like that. I don't need it, so I'm going to take it off. I like the one over here that has the character profile stuff and the bags. I'm going to keep that. But I don't want this one over here. It just doesn't look good. I don't need it. I'm never gonna put anything there. So this is the pop-up bars, right? So this is the right pop-up bar and this is the left pop-up bar. I'm gonna take the left one off. And there we go. Now, since I'm leveling, I want my leveling bars and I'm just gonna keep the reputation bar um, just because it doesn't bother me. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that there. Now, now that I have everything kind of set up in terms of how I want my action bars to look and how it works with, looks with SCADA, I want to change this color so it's kind of like, I'm playing Fire Mage, right? So maybe I want it to be a little orange, a little red, uh, maybe with a little yellow in it. So I'm going to go to General and um, wait a minute, I'm going to go to Artwork. And then I'm going to go to base options, no artwork options. I'm sorry guys, there's a lot of different buttons and stuff here. So go to artwork, go to artwork options, okay? 
and you're going to see this artwork color and color enabled. And you're going to click color enabled. It will normally be like this. And that looks cool. It's like a cool gray metal looking color. And that's cool. So what I want to do, but I want to change it. So I'm going to click color enabled. And then you're going to click this artwork color. And now I'm going to drag it to any of these colors on the palette and I can change it. You know, so if I'm playing frost, for example, I kind of want to maybe make it blue or a light blue and just have that vibe going. If I'm playing fire, I may want to make it like a, a red or a purplish red, orange, whatever you like. But right now I'm going to do something like that. Okay. And then you're going to click OK. And now I have those back bars uh, removed. Just the kind of the background bars removed and I changed the color. So this looks way better to me. And I just showed you how to do it if, that, if that's something you want to do on your own. So I hope you like this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos uh, or tutorials or instructionals you want to see. Take care.